I've started recording for the new meeting. Okay. I'm not sure who the facilitator is, but I'm happy to facilitate. Um, yeah, so I put the uh, minutes in the chat, I think, but I'll do it again. So if you want to add your name and the um, incredibly interesting prompt of how are you doing today? That's all we have. So you don't even have to really think about it. You can just say. I was looking up one. I don't think it's like a like I don't think everybody would get it, but it was the question was, do you think Hugh Grant is funny? Interesting. <laughs> He's an actor here in the US and <laughs> Hugh, Hugh Grant is British, Matt. Or... <laughs> He's British, yes. I don't know. I yeah. have to that. I don't think so. <laughs> Your team no. Wow. Team thumbs down, Hugh. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't even know what our agenda is. So, because I, I have missed a few meetings here. So, hey. we could yeah. give an update of what just happened with kind of the folks working, working on the project badging. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And I also think um, on top of the agenda, there are some other metrics that need to be included in the. Yeah. In the depending on how yeah. much now we have the applications going on. And I'll, um, I, I'll put those in here, Enoch. So Kevin and I have been kind of working on those, the additional metrics. So let me go get those for the agenda here. Yeah, I, I, I've just jumped from meeting to meeting. I need like five minute break. I'll be right back. That's fine. Enoch and you know, all can summer. <laughs> I'm going. Um, and I think I have another meeting after this, so I, I'll be on the chair after some time. Okay. And also just a reminder, uh, the second half of this meeting is new Badger orientation. So if you are interested in uh, being a new Badger, that is happening after this at uh, the top of the hour. So. And I think Mary Blessing is going to join and also one other person, Josh. So anybody's welcome to join if you want. And now I will hand it over to Enoch to give a project badging update. Ooh. Okay, I am confused. Project badging, you mean the one we've been talking about? The one we just met about, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I think the other one is event badging and this is project badging just to set things straight from now on. Um, so <clears throat> since Sean ain't here and um, <clears throat> we've been discussing previously those that jumped onto the call and found us in the middle of the discussion, we've been talking about project budget. I can, um, I can come back uh, briefly. Project that is coming up. Oh, Sean, you're back here, but I can go on. Um, a project that is uh, Chaos is working, collaborating with all in open source um, that is GitHub oriented to see that um, we can kick off um, awarding badges to projects that are basically on GitHub and they are open source. And um, so far, what we are targeting is we want to make sure that at least the projects that are on uh, or that are on GitHub and can subscribe to our DEI metrics. Actually, meet some of those metrics through a DEI.md file that will be having a lot of the information that that um, shows how they meet some of those metrics. So we are planning to create an automation that is almost related to event budging, and um, we shall be giving out budgets to some of those projects depending on how they meet that particular criteria. So for those that are for those that are not aware, um, we are having a lot of people that are trying to steer the direction of this project um, all the way from GitHub to all in um, Elizabeth and her other team. You know, now Elizabeth is having a lot of roles when it comes to project budging. I don't know where to place her in GitHub, in all in or in project budging. But um, a lot of other folks that are outside chaos are kind of steering the direction of this. So we hope that by May 24th, um, we shall have um, something that will be presentable, I think, both to the team here at chaos and also to the stakeholders that are outside of chaos. Um, apart from that, 
um, a link has been shared in the in the meeting minutes you can look at um what we hope will be available by that time and what we think we're going to start with in the implementation so the team that is um, directly involved in that at chaos africa at, at chaos is um chaos africa whereby me and ruth are the project leads and also sean steering the team at um, missouri and then I think that's all that I may need to share publicly, unless there is something I've left out that is um, that needs to be aired out to the badgers here. So I just put Enoch. Do you think you the the folks would be ready to present something at the May ninth? May ninth general okay. meeting. It would probably have to be a little less. Polished. How many weeks from now? Yeah, I think uh, I think I think depending on what we have shared in the previous meeting, there will be definitely something. Um, okay. as we left the meeting, we were planning to start the real development now, apart from okay. showing the UI, the UX. So yeah, of course, okay. by May night there will be something that we can present to the whole. Yeah, the just whole. The chaos general, and that might be like a good test for what to give to Demetrius. Mm -hmm. How many weeks yeah. is that? Okay. Uh, it's like three. I think it's maybe okay. yeah, three to four, because it's the twelfth right now. So yeah, sure. Yeah, if we start by next week, of course, by May ninth, there'll be something. Okay. Sean, be... Sean, Sean was saying something apart from what I just said. Oh, I, I just we're gonna. I'm trying to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. I'm gonna try to propose the same time oh. tomorrow. To okay. see if we can finish up some of the more detailed design discussion that okay. uh, we didn't quite get no to. Problem. No problem. Yeah, and on top of the, I think what I forgot, I don't know whether it's um, relevant. We plan to always update the chaos team onto the developments. I'm not sure, um, Sean, about the frequency uh, and how we decided that, but. I'm sure we set up some particular frequency to always update the chaos team onto what is actually happening in the project badging because it's our project. Yeah, I think I think um, there there are enough threads right now with design, bot, report, registration. I mean, I think there's enough threads happening right now that there'll be an update every week. Um, so that's one of the things we can talk about when we get back together tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, to the for the people, you know, hopefully people can, but if you know if we can't, then if not everybody can make it, we can talk to the people that we can get there. All right. Unless there is an um, a confusion from or a submission from what I just presented from the other folks who were not aware of um, such a project, uh, I beg to submit. Back to you, Elizabeth. Okay, fair enough. Um, and so no other, so we're all done with project badging update. Though, yeah, right? I think we had so. questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay, metrics still to be developed. Um, also, do we have a, a I was going to put the link to the DEI.md file in here, but I don't know where that went. I have it in one of my many open windows and open tabs, but I don't want to click away because I'm sharing. All right. I have it on my open window, open tab. Somebody else has put that in here. You're talking about the sample DEI.md file? Yes, just for reference. Right. I just, I just paste, I just put it in, uh, I just put it in, I think. Let's see. Oh, wait, I put it on the, sorry, I put it in the, like you, I put it in the DEI agenda. <laughs> <laughs> we will put it here just for future stuff. Yeah. In case anybody wants to know what's in that file, it's right there. This is what it looks like. So this is what uh, we're asking projects to complete with their own information. And so I was a couple things I had on this. One is um, I think Tochi had talked about Toki um, had talked about kind of building that landing page and i think it would on that page it might be nice to have just like kind of an embedded look at what this dei.md file is 
for people mm -hmm. so they see it like immediately and we can still yeah. point, point to the template for them to download but it might just be nice to give a, a window into what this document looks like Kingsley, yeah, I think also Kingsley too? needs to take note of yeah. that. Um, uh, Elizabeth, did, did you call me? Sorry. I just said, <laughs> um, so Matt was just saying maybe we could put a version of this um, document in the landing page for the badging. So I don't know how that would fit in design wise, but Okay, yeah, yeah. It's actually a provision for this. If you awesome. recall, I yeah. So where we have a badge, so when you click on the badge, uh, you see all this information and the different badge category. Okay. Yeah. But I, Kingsley, does that include like a like an empty look at the dei.md file? Just so like if say Kevin, looking at Kevin here, was applying as a project, he would just kind of see what a DEI.md file would, you know, kind of entail. Um, I have to visit this document first to check it out. So it would almost just be like a, like a maybe, I mean, in the lowest, <laughs> lowest, lowest uh, form would just be like a, a screenshot of that. Uh, Google Doc, you know what I mean? Like here are the things that are in the DEI.md file that wouldn't look very pretty, but something like that. Just so when somebody comes to the landing page, they understand what they're going to be asked for. Would, okay, I was would, asking these are the requirements for. I think we lost. Okay. Hello, can you hear yeah, me? You, you broke up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, I think it would be better if this is actually added, not like screenshots, con uh, considering uh, responsiveness when you look at other devices. Or well, there are better ways to represent this on the site. And I think when I jump on the design, probably, of course, I'll give options to choose from. Users should be able to see. I understand. I understand your your points, um, Matt, Matt. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Kingsley. You're welcome. I'm I'm wondering if we would uh, rather than having a screenshot of the markdown file, if we rather if we just built some content that kind of described the process, and we link out to a template document. Uh, what would the what would be the uh, the purpose of the like a screenshot of a markdown file? Just so when people come to the single landing page, they get all their information there. They just get their bearings on what they're going to be asked for. That's all. Okay. Uh, but but the plan is to have a, a link to the yeah the if markdown still, template as well. Yeah. Yes. It would. Okay. You know, if, you're, if you're interested in applying, here's the template. Something like that. At least that was my thought. It was just okay. a like a quick info. Gotcha. Um, do we want to talk about these two metrics then? Well, could you go back to the template? I had one more comment. Sure. This is less for the website. So I do think um, when we get these metrics kind of finalized, the four that are here, I think it would be useful for us to come up with like what a sample narrative would be for folks just like kind of what we're looking for <laughs> or what we would think would be a good example. And so just a note that we should probably write some samples so people have an idea of what to, to put in there. And I mean, we may decide that it's, you know, whatever, a paragraph, you know, people don't need to do a two pager on each metric. Or we or we want them to do a two pager on each metric. I don't know, but we we would decide to kind of help frame it a little bit. And I do think that it would be useful, kind of in that framing, um, if we do say something like between one and two paragraphs, 
So like we actually kind of give a minimum and a maximum of what we're looking for that has a tendency of, I don't know about this, but like when you ask people for answers to questions, if you kind of frame it, it, it helps <laughs> kind of focus the response. So that was it. Those are the only two things I thought we needed to kind of think about with respect to that document. Does the uh, does the order of the metrics matter? I don't know. I mean, I, I get your question. I don't. Narratively, if I'm asking if I'm asking a project to reflect on these four things to start, uh, I probably go two, three, one, four. I don't really have if it if it opinion. if it matters. Yeah, I don't have a strong opinion. I mean, if there's a and with that, if one person has a strong opinion, then let's, I mean, we can change it. I don't know that it, it matters to me too much. I, mean, I will say this, actually, when you bring that up, so I was working on the communication transparency metric, you know, like, uh, at, like on what you had done, Kevin. And a lot of what I was thinking about was like, as you think of, as I was thinking about the metric, it did raise a lot of like, um, thoughts in my mind about the newcomer experience, you know? So like, as I was thinking through, like I was pretending that I had to write a response to that metric. And it did, it did really raise a lot of that first one for me. And so maybe three would come before one. You're muted, Kevin. As a, so as someone who was trying to get this project badge, if I, came and I saw the, the these list of four metrics that I need to reflect on uh, just because of my nature I probably do them in order <laughs> so uh, and I, I agree I think newcomer newcomer experiences builds off of communication transparency and I think project access is kind of that that immediate entry level thing well, let's, let's see what it so, looks like it's like I'll just move it Oops, gosh, I do have too many tabs open. So it would be like, get rid of that, not get rid of that, the, that, whoops. Yeah. For, oh. for no other, for no other reason than there might be people that are like me that would just simply do those metrics in order. Yeah. <laughs> Even no, though there's no requirement to do them. As such, I think right? that's fair. I think that that's all good. Okay. Um, one more, sorry, one more um, comment on this. When we say, please let us know, I feel like that's also going to be a process we need to sort out. Oh, I don't at think at some it, point. I don't think it's us. I think it's all I in. It's, no, I think it's the project. The, oh, I see. Oh, I thought yeah. this was the way. So we also need to provide a way for someone in the community to like, are we doing that still? Wait, I'm confused. Are we still no. offering a, a no, no way for them to come back to all in and say, or, or chaos and say, this is not correct. Okay, go back to the project. Okay. They go back to the, to the folks who are responsible for the private code of conduct. Okay. Yeah, the, the idea for those, those last two paragraphs is really about the, uh, the projects that's doing the, uh, that's doing the, uh, that's applying for the badging, reflecting on their own DEI, and also, and also kind of making that statement about their DEI to their community. So, so yeah, that 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 link should link back to them. I just added something like, please let us in the project name. <laughs> no, you know, something like that. Yeah. yeah, that makes it clearer for me personally. So yeah, thank you. Yep. Okay, and then I, I did, I was kind of thinking, you know, we've kind of gone back and forth on, I know we only have like five minutes and we can talk about the, the two metrics in the DEI working group too, but um, in terms of where this document gets placed, because we're, I don't think we're gonna, we've kind of gone back and forth between the repo level 
and the org level and the repo level and the org level and back and forth and back and forth. And my my really strong inclination right now is to put this in in the ask people to put this in the dot github repo because that's where the organizational level code of conduct is located. And if GitHub ever down down the in the future would want to automate this, in terms of like, you know, that stuff they have on the right hand side, the dot GitHub repo in the org is the place for this. That's where the code of conduct is located as well. And it, certainly people can put it other places because the application can point, you know, so they can apply and say, you know, this is located in our community repo, but I think we should have really strong guidance that says we, we highly recommend at the org level this is located in your .github repo. And then the badge itself, like they're gonna receive the badge, they can put that wherever they would like. And that would just point back to the issue that was opened to receive the badge. And that issue would also contain the pointer to the .github repo, because we need that as part of the badging process. Yeah, I think we changed that a little in that last meeting we just had. Okay. Um, it might be easier for us to just keep the list on the website and do everything through the website, just so we have more control over the data okay. that comes in. We don't have to mess with GitHub APIs and webhooks and all that. No problem. Um, but yeah, it will be listed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Would it still be in the dot .git? Could it still be in the dot .github repo? Yeah, it can be wherever. I think we're gonna. That will be the application. Mostly, will just be like link us to your DEI.md file. Okay, but I would again, I would like strongly, maybe we strongly encourage people to put it in the .github repo just for like downstream implications. Yeah, I'm also thinking though too, if we do open it up, I mean, it will be open to like GitLab and other places. So, do they have a similar thing? I don't know. I, don't I bet know. they do. Or like, what if they have it listed on their website as a web page? Like the project would be the only. So I don't know that I want. To, I, what I'm just trying to say is I don't know that we want to force that. I see. But um, yeah, I think we definitely can give strong guidance, just for the, the accessibility of it, so people can find it and access it, other than us. The people mm -hmm. Yeah, people can take a guess as to where it might mm -hmm. be located. Yeah. Okay, what else? We have two minutes. That was helpful. And you said, Matt, we're going to talk about these two things or can talk about them in the DEI. Yeah, we'll just talk ahead. about them in the DEI meeting because they'll take okay. a little bit of time to sort out. Okay. And then and the other one is the newcomer experience is still not on the website. Oh, it's done. That's me. That's on me. Oh my God. I'm so that's, sorry. Actually, that's on me. I that's on that was on my list. We, okay, good. We, it's on you, Kevin. Gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I thought it was on me. I, I, we we had identified it a, uh, maybe a month ago and I put it on my to-do list and it, it still hasn't uh, hasn't made it to the top. I'll I'll get it up there today. Yeah, no, I think it's been on my to-do list for a month too. <laughs> There, there's one now that you mentioned it. I don't, I don't even know if that's the right one. There is one I know that I had an action item for, and I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, I've got two two metrics on my list. Okay, good. So, what what happened was they got uh, uh, they got pushed they got pushed during the period where we were uh, in our metrics freeze. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because we weren't because we weren't doing any releases, they just never made it up there. Yeah. I, it's not a it's done i mean i don't think it's a huge concern but okay well thank you elizabeth cool all right i'm gonna stop sharing now okay and i'm gonna drop off and i'll just see you at the dei meeting in okay an hour uh sean are you around to stop the recording i'll do it okay <laughs> i am around but oh. matt can do it there, I stopped it. At, oh, yes, my.